Three, two, one, let's start! Hey guys, this is Joao. Hi, this is Alex. And we're here at Hospital Santa Maria, also uh, the Faculty of Medicine in Portugal. We're visiting, uh, we're doing a series of uh, Lisbon and Malaga and Portugal, Spain for Salmonella Place. And we're here to talk about something that many of you that are watching us probably have considered, which is uh, studying abroad. So have you ever had trouble getting in uh, medicine or following your dream in your country um, and then you didn't have the chance to do so either because the, the grades were too high or in some cases I can be the, the the perfect example of it where you have a degree and it's really hard to actually get in uh, a program that accepts you um, and these are we're gonna share you, with you uh, our own experiences because Alex has a different experience than I do and maybe uh, we will enlighten you and give you a perspective of what is to study outside. We're studying in Hungary. I'm yes. from Portugal. And I'm from the UK but I actually graduated from high school in Cyprus um, and we both ended up in the same uni in Hungary um, and I'm nearly finished with my degree. I have one year to go and that's one of the reasons I wanted to make this vlog with Joao because I've had the uni experience. I've had pretty much all of it uh, except the graduation part which should be coming soon um, and yeah I just want to share with you some tips and basically my story you know how it how it all came to, came to pass and um, yeah I want to let you guys know because a lot of people think oh god I could never study abroad or oh I have to learn a new language and you know, you don't. <laughs> there are a lot of American universities or, you know, English-based uh, Europe, language. Caribbean, yeah. like, they're everywhere. And of course, there are some good schools out there. It doesn't matter what people tell you. Do your research. Make sure you sit down and look for um, online resources that will uh, inform you properly and what you need to know when you move uh, and apply to these uh, universities. Because some of them are really good. You know, some of them will give you a great foundation for you to become uh, a physician. Um, never neglect just the fact that you're not able to get in your country. Like it's really, I know it's really uh, complicated to get in Portugal. The grades are really high, the, the, the averages, because there are not many spots available and there are a lot of people who are trying to get in. Uh, for example, in Cyprus, um, there actually isn't a medical school yet. We have one in Greece, so, you know, obviously because the main language in Cyprus is Greek, you can go to Greece. Um, but still, the spots there are for then for two countries and they're very limited. And, yeah. you know, uh, for, those, for those who, for example, like myself, I am a Greek speaker, but I still would find it more difficult to study in my second language than in my first. I thought, you know, I, especially for such a difficult uh, study, I would like to do it in my first language. Of course. So, yeah, these are the two, uh, two of the many stories out there of the reasons why you would go and study abroad. Um, to be honest, it was really, uh, for myself at least, it was... Um, you know, just a random thing. I was like, okay, I, I would like to go back to the UK, but I want to see all the options because, of course, America is an English-speaking country. Canada, you know, there are a lot of options. So I really looked around, but then I thought, no, I want to stay in Europe um, because, let's face it, the budget in Europe is a lot better. You know, it is expensive to study in America. Um, and when you add up, you know, living costs, flights back and forth for Christmas and summer, it is a very expensive. So I looked around Europe and I was actually surprised and impressed. I did actually go to Hungary um, and several other countries to look at the universities there uh, before I made my decision. But Hungary, it had a very um, straightforward entrance exam. And um, basically, I would say it is easier to get in, but it's harder to stay in from my personal experience. Um, whereas other universities it might be very very difficult to get in but once you're in uh, the failure rate compared to Hungary is a lot less yeah. um, 
My case is a little bit different. I started with a four-year degree, a bachelor degree in the U.S., and I wanted to continue into the MD degree, but my problem was that uh, they have limited seats for foreign students. That's a reality in the U.S. And another reality for me that I could not deal with was the fact that it's extremely expensive to study in the U.S. Uh, a tuition fee can run from uh, 30 to um, to even seventy thousand dollars per year, and I thought, well, I am. I know their their teaching and their system and their schools are fantastic, but I cannot afford and I don't have access to loans, so my idea was to act, find an option which would give me the education, the basics, the foundation that I needed, and then I could follow my dream, which is medicine. So I finished my bachelor degree, packed my bags, I worked for a while in research, and then packed my bags, came back to, to, to Europe, um, worked also in Portugal for a little while, and then I tried to apply to Portugal but I would have to go another year back to, to to high school because when I finished my studies here in Portugal the systems changed since then so that was a problem for me so my other options were Europe I have to find somewhere in Europe and I looked for programs not only that uh, were in English I looked for quality as well and as you know, believe it or not, some of these countries like Hungary, Czech Republic, Poland, uh, even Romania, they have these old systems that are so, um, they are still work a lot. I, I feel that my studies there are, like Alex was mentioning, it's not difficult to get in, but once you're there, you have to know your material. You have to become the best student you can be there in order to pass uh, like a, a class like Anatomy 1. So it is quite hard and you feel that you learn your material. And once you have the experience of going, like I had already, of going and spending a summer at a hospital, you feel that your knowledge is quite solid. And then you go back and think, well, you did a good choice. It was actually good to go away from my country and study. And not only that, you also have a very important thing, which is you meet so many people. You oh, network. Oh, absolutely. You network. Yes. Like I met Alex there. Yeah, we're uh, from two sides of Europe and we two met. Two sides of Europe. Never yeah. thought about meeting her. And I feel it's a fantastic way to meet people. And you will need that um, them uh, in your life, not only to to um, it's character building it's like learning tolerance which we will be talking about in another one of our vlogs it's experiencing different cultures different foods you know I've learned to cook Persian food and uh, you know I'm here right now trying the Portuguese food which you know is pretty you know Adriana we did a vlog with Adriana which you will meet um, you know on the food but it's just all these all these things that you know whether you're interested in them or not you will pick up on them by living and uh, going through everyday classes with all of these different people yeah. um, and that is that is something that not many people who study in their own country or in a in a university that isn't international can brag about yeah and one of the fantastic things I feel is that I, I'm going to be so lucky to have doctors or um, fellow uh, or colleagues that are working in Norway or in your case in Cyprus or whatever they go back or they usually are going back to their own countries and I can go anywhere and network and have them as you know um, as uh, you know sharing experiences or even knowledge if I need someone in a certain specialty that is working in Norway I know I'm going to have because I have a lot of Norwegian friends now so I feel these programs uh, really uh, enrich you like they 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 um, they make a difference they they make it if you compare uh, to the I'm not saying and I'm not of course, we're not doing like a pros and cons of whether to study in your country or somewhere else, but definitely there are a lot of advantages of jumping on a plane and applying somewhere else other than your country. So do not get disappointed ever. Do not get disappointed because you did not get in your country. Yeah, there's always a way. Always, always, always way. many options out there. Uh, look for the programs online contact people it's very important because the information that you find online is not usually the best so I do encourage you to go 
and contact someone like us, for example, that have been through the whole process and can give you a little bit of insight of the pros and cons. And you can also see whether this, these kind of programs will fit your, um, your routine or your... Um, yeah, and I would say if you have the finances, try maybe once you've narrowed down to a couple of medical schools that you're really considering applying to, Try and go there because uh, if you turn up on a day where the students are there, try not to go in the holidays because a lot of students go home, of course, if they're international. But try and go there and really talk to the students. I remember going, when I visited uh, the university that we're at now, the students were super friendly. Um, they answered so many of my questions. And of course, as a student asking a teacher, the teacher is going to always give you a different perspective. But when it's student to student, they're really going to tell you like, yeah, this bar is great. This library is good. You know, uh, don't do this, uh, do that. You know, the culture's like this, the culture's like that. So they can really uh, help you. Um, just with everyday things as well as you know study techniques what books are good go to this website for this you know it's really um, that's really insightful um, as to choosing you know the, the final the final one or two that you want to apply to yeah um, yeah and also at the end of the day this is about commitment where if you are willing to put your heart and soul into your dream which is medicine or whatever it is if it's art yeah, dentistry if dentistry yeah. in your case well whatever it is if you're willing to put the heart the hours the time uh, learning english learning in our case hungarian or czech or whatever language you're gonna be learning if you're willing to put all that heart into it into it because it's your dream then do it, do it. Uh, and this is the message that I want, the, the experiences that we wanted to share with you because we've been through it, we've been through the, oh, we need to find an option outside of our country. We've been through that and we're here to tell you that it's totally possible. It's, uh, it's unless you don't, this medicine is not for you. If medicine is not for you, then do something else, um, which is also important and relevant. Just follow your passion. That's my advice. And don't know if you... Uh, my, main, my main tips, I have been in Hungary for five years now, and my biggest lessons were, number one, be accepting of their culture. You are studying in their uh, country, so you should be respectful to the people who are hosting you uh, because at the end of the day they're giving you your future um, so and just as a side note to that I would say it is very hard to learn a language while you're studying at the same time but if you do it as much as you can and you practice you know order a pizza order a taxi go into a shop just a few words you're really gonna see that the people open up to you because they respect you they're like wow you're here studying and you're trying with us and uh, you'll just see a totally different side to the people um, because you're respecting part of their this, language yeah. all the fantastic reasons why you should definitely try out and even if you get in your country if, even if you have the grades to get in your country but you can afford to go and study outside of your country just enjoy the experience try a different experience yeah, exactly and this is also for other degrees if you're thinking about following music say, mirror, arts music, architecture whatever economics, whatever it is just try to and study abroad even if for a year oh and exactly you are going oh it's fantastic. try the erasmus program it's fantastic i've been out of the house since i was 17 or my first degree i did i'm from portugal and i left portugal to study in the u.s and I, I can tell you clearly that it really enriches you and it builds like a very solid resume so when you come back and you want to work in your country all your employers it doesn't matter which area or which field you're in they'll think you're they're, interesting they're, exactly because you know languages you know people you know and how adaptability to once you've adapted to a different culture yes. um, but this is what I'm saying because uh, to be honest there are a lot of people who of course you're gonna feel homesick you're gonna get a bit of culture shock if it's your first time moving to another country but honestly uh, because this is the third country I've lived in uh, Hungary I mean um, I have learned to take the good from everywhere I took the good from the UK I took the good from Cyprus now I'm taking the good from Hungary if you just focus on the negative it is gonna spoil your time and you will have you know negative experiences because that's what you're attracting so yeah try and keep positive try and look at the good things ignore the bad ones or you know, if there's a simple way of fixing them, fix them, but focus on the good. Focus on learning the language, knowing the culture, and embracing it. Um, something else I would say that you mentioned before about putting your heart into medicine. Uh, yeah, it gets tough. 
you ha your heart has to be in it. If you're serious and this is your love and you really want to do, uh, well, in our case, medicine, but any study, your heart has to be in it. You have to be in it for the right reasons. I was very young. I was uh, just 18 when I um, went to Hungary to study, and but I was a very... Um, I knew what I wanted. I was lucky that way. A lot of people don't at that age, but I knew what I wanted. I'd really thought about it, so that's why I was successful and I'm almost graduated. But um, I do see, uh, and I have seen in the past, a lot of people who come and they're not sure they want to try it out. And that's great. If you, if you think you really want it, try it out. You know, if you've got the finances and you've, you, know, you, you have the guts to move abroad, um, just the lesson of moving abroad is, is a thing in itself. So even if you decide that medicine or whatever isn't for you, you will have learned something. Um, but if you want to be successful in that or you have limited finances and you need to be careful which study you take because you want to graduate with that, um, I would really think, and I will do a, a vlog on uh, how to decide whether medicine is really for you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just keep following us because we are going to bring our own experiences. We're going to keep posting more tutorials on different uh, subjects that you're going to be needed. Definitely post comments yes. down below the video. Below the video, please, because we need your feedback. We need to know what you need from us. Yes, so you we can, can question us, yeah, ask any us. Any questions, we're willing to do a vlog where we can actually just sit down and answer your questions. So we're going to be here and hope you enjoy this one and hope this was helpful. This is Joao and Alex and we're logging up from Lisbon and the faculty of Lisboa in, um, in uh, Santa Maria. Bye! Bye!